We turn now to a water rescue that could just as easily have been a water tragedy, but a woman is alive tonight, thanks in part to her watch. Let's get to Adam Bagney. He's live in the hunt to explain. Adam? Yeah, Ed, you said it. So this woman did not have her cell phone with her at the time of this incident, but she did have an Apple watch. So perhaps the person who deserves the most credit for her rescue is actually Siri. I'm on the board, board. I'm water. off in Nahant Beach and I'm getting blown out to sea. Frightening moments for a local woman off Nahant Beach today. Strong winds pushing her paddleboard further and further offshore, telling rescuers she was 500 yards away. Now I'm just getting blown further and further. Oh my God, it's just getting windier. But the woman didn't have a phone. Instead, she told us it was Siri, the virtual assistant, who called 911 from her Apple Watch. I'm glad I have an Apple Watch. Thank God. Lynn Fires' Jay Pozark was one of the dispatchers on the other line. I was impressed by how well the current technology worked both on her watch and on the 911, the NG 911 system, that mapping and being able to constantly ping um, to show us where she was. That, that made a big difference. The panel border asked not to be identified, but said with the wind, she should have known better, adding that rescuers responded within 15 minutes. We um, located the um, panel border a few hundred yards off in the hot beach, and we were able to transport her back to um, Swamp Scott safely. She was embarrassed, but otherwise unharmed. A tragedy averted with the help of tech. Technology at its best. <laughs> Technology at its best. It was all of us working together that made that happen, and Siri. And guys, this is actually not the first time that an Apple Watch has led to a life-saving sort of situation. A company spokesman telling me it's helped in everything from car crashes to heart attacks, and now you can add paddleboarding to the list. And I should note, we just got uh, a, an email just a couple minutes ago, a statement from the woman involved here, and if you'll bear with me, she says, quote, I'm very grateful to all the first responders who helped me today from dispatch who stayed on the phone until Swamp Scott Harbor Master and police picked me up. I'm also thankful that I own an Apple Watch. So there you have it. We're live here in Nahant. Adam Bagney, WCVB News Center 5.